Uba No Man Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to filter websites using DNS and IP Fire. I made a previous video. You could block websites, but it wouldn't give you a block page, so users couldn't tell whether or not the website was forbidden or it was a connection error. I've also added logging. So now logs go to the web interface. So first you gotta log into IP Fire, type in IP Fire's green interface IP address. The first thing we're gonna do is create a block page, but I'll enable SSH for a second. we go. Web proxy enabled and transparent URL filter. Save and restart. Next go to URL filter. Then you check block all URLs not explicitly allowed. So now if you go to any website, it'll give you this page, go to File, Save Page As, then go to your Downloads folder, rename this Index, and then you want to disable all those things right there, so this, Save and Restart. Web proxy, disable that. Oh, and the URL filter thing right there too. Next thing we gotta do is go to HP hosts. So the full file there's like an advertisement and a bunch of other things, but it blocks all these things, malware, ads, phishing, that kind of thing. I will do the advertising because that's the most easiest to see. So this, click that. Now you do, you hold control on the keyboard right at this line, click, while still holding it, scroll down. Now hold shift and then copy. Now, let's see, you got to connect to server. If you're using Windows, use WinSCP. So SSH colon slash slash. Log in anyway. Now go open parent. And then let's set that page. SRV web. Create a folder called blocked. Now, let's open a new tab, copy these two, and paste into this folder. Now go to the root, go to EDC, HTTPD, now go to conf, vhost, and now this is a config file for both of them. This one is for HTTP, this one is for HTTPS. Um, the only thing you need to change is this IP. You want to change it to IP Fire's green IP. The reason I did I green IP instead of all of them is because I want to be able to also have a website out to the internet. And if you put like, I think it's like star for every single um, IP, then you won't be able to do that. So you want to copy the first one. I'll put a link to the form, IP Fire form, where you can copy this. Now you create a new document, name it blocked http.conf now open it now paste it for this line right here custom log you have a choice of either doing it to the um, IP Fire's web interface um, this would be the line right here if you want to do it to a file you can do it like this 
So I'll save it like that. And now create another one. Locked HTTPS.conf. Open that. Paste the second part. Now save. Now we, we're going to put the host file. So you go to etc hosts. Now what you want to do is you want to copy it and download it to your computer. Because if you just use the editor and open it like that, it will take forever when you're saving it. So open it like this. You go, you click enter, go to that line. And you just, oops, yeah, I already copied it. So, paste. Oh, no. Have to go back and copy it again. There we go. Anything that's 127.0.0.1 will be given a blank page. Um, or, which it's actually like a DNS error kind of thing. Anything, like if you want to block a website and have a block page, you type in the green IP address and I'll block Facebook. Okay, you save it. So anything that has this kind of IP will be given a block page. Anything that this will be kind of invisible. So you do that for advertisements. Save. Now what you do is you copy it. There we go. You want to delete this. Delete. Now paste. Now I'll log in by SSH. Now you do SSH root at the IP address then the port which is 222 now you want to do etc init.d slash dns mask restart now you want to do apache restart there we go next thing we want to do is let's create the firewall rules so first firewall uh, firewall groups service groups, create one called DNS and DNS next add services, add DNS TCP and DNS UDP because it uses both now let's go to firewall roll, or firewall new rule, we'll set let's see, source, any um, destination um, actually let's do this one and then protocol preset service groups DNS except allow IP fire DNS now a new rule will do um, any to any on red preset DNS reject you want to reject for this because if you do dropped, the client, when the connection's dropped, the client will not know that it's dropped and will just keep resending that same information out a bunch of times. And if you do reject the IP fire, or not IP fire, yeah, I mean, yeah, the IP fire will tell the client that that's not allowed. And so it saves the hassle of resending information over and over again. So block external DNS. Oops, I mean, this rule right here, it should actually be green. Let me see how loud or rejected green to external DNS. Just be allowed, apply changes. Now, if I go to www.facebook.com, yep, blocked. If I try to go to https colon slash slash www.facebook.com blocked. Um, 
and then I'll try to go to something else allowed I'll go to uh, filehippo.com because they have advertisements blocked now let's see if you go to logs system logs yep you have logs for that I've noticed that it will sometimes not give logs for HTTP websites I've only tried Facebook um, let's see I'll show you let's say I was a client and I was trying to bypass this I would set it to Google DNS 8.8.8.8 colon 8.8.4.4 save and it's reconnecting There we go. Just gotta make sure it's actually set to the correct thing. Yeah, I took it in right. Oh, yeah, it's kind of finicky a little bit. See, DNS changed. Now if I try to go to any website, nope, not gonna be able to connect. Now if I change it back. Clear this. And when it comes to Ubuntu, you actually have to manually disconnect and reconnect if you're removing it. If you're adding it, it'll automatically switch over. There we go. Let's see, anything else I have to go over there? Um, I think that's good. If you like my video, please leave a like, and thank you for watching.